you. Well, this is the view through our Lakeway camera. Not bad. Some cloud cover with us across parts of the area. Take a look at this other shot through uh, through one of our other cameras showing you the cloud cover that's over the city. Over southeast Louisiana, some similar conditions, uh, both north and south of the lake, the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. Here's the big picture. That frontal boundary, that low pressure area in the associated front, well, that's still off to the west of us. Most of the rainfall is still uh, just up north of us and across most of the southeastern part of the country, some pretty decent conditions as uh, the air continues to bring all that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico into southeast Louisiana. The humidity is going to be kind of high uh, all day long today, and we had that slight risk of severe weather with us because there's cold, dry air behind that frontal boundary and all the moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. So the area that's in yellow is uh, everywhere that is under that slight risk of severe weather. Down here on the south shore, half of the north shore, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, we're all under a marginal risk of severe weather. And that's primarily later on this afternoon and this evening. Right now, though, the radar picture is nice and clear across southeast Louisiana. It should stay that way for the next several hours. In fact, as I put the model into motion, you won't notice much potential for rainfall across the area into the noontime, 1 and 2 o'clock hour. But looks like towards 3 and 4 o'clock, the rainfall chances start going up. We'll probably see some isolated showers down here on the south shore at that time as well. Some pretty intense storms, a possibility moving into parts of Tangipaho Parish at that time. Then crossing uh, the North Shore onto Lake Pontchartrain into the 7 p.m. hour, and this is just updated. And then down here onto the South Shore later on in the evening, around 8 and 9 p.m., we're going to start seeing some of the shower and thunderstorm activity as well. And then this is what it looks like later on late this evening with some rainfall and a line of showers making their way across the South Shore during the uh, over the late evening and overnight hours as well. But by the time morning rolls around, we should be pretty much done with the rainfall. The cloud cover is probably going to stick around a little bit, but into the afternoon, I think we should clear out pretty nicely and have a pretty nice uh, Sunday afternoon. Sunday evening should be mostly clear, and Monday is looking like an absolutely great day. So that uh, marginal to slight risk of severe weather includes the damage possibility of damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, uh, large hail, and tornadoes, and lightning. There's a, lots of lightning as a possibility as well. So just a heads up there for late this afternoon, especially late this afternoon and this evening. Right now at the airports and partly cloudy skies, 75 degrees, 79 percent humidity out there. The wind's blowing pretty lightly at about 5 to 10 miles per hour across southeast Louisiana. If you headed out to the air show, uh, expect a shower to about a 30% chance of rainfall. The temperature and the humidity are probably going to be your two bigger issues, though. If you headed out to the Tulane spring football game, that's starting shortly here. 79 degrees, some partly cloudy skies out there as well. Otherwise, across the south shore this afternoon, I'm expecting our temperatures to rise into the low to the mid 80s on the north shore. Some similar numbers, low to mid 80s. And if you're making plans to head out to LSU for the uh, spring football game. About a 50% chance of rainfall out there at 7 p.m. this evening. Quick look at your seven day forecast. And as you can see, temperatures going from 83 for a high today to 69 for a high tomorrow.